Hey everybody, it's Deanna with Tools of EnergyProtection.com, your energy shift expert. How's everybody doing? I hope that you're having a great and wonderful evening from July the 5th, 2022. And earlier today, I came on and I shared a few things and I told you I would be back to share a few more things. So we're gonna talk about CERN for those of you that don't know what it is. And we're going to talk about the serious uh, portal or alignment for those of you that have never heard about that. Then we're gonna talk about why did they happen on the same day? Seems a little suspect to me, but hmm, maybe not. And maybe the ambiguous say no more than they want us to know. So while I'm waiting for everybody to get on here, I'm got to get my other little device so I can see uh, any questions that we might have um, after this or during this or however you're feeling. So uh, let me know you're out there. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some shouts because I'm going to be talking about some pretty cool stuff tonight. And if you missed the video, uh, if you're on Facebook, scroll down. There's a very short video recapping or basically giving you um, a preface of what we're talking about tonight. And otherwise, you can jump over to YouTube. So I'm going to be succinct as I can. And uh, there are some of you that have already reached out to me today and they're saying, hey, uh, you know, um, uh, what you're saying is not true. And uh, these are things that don't match. And, you know, some of your philosophies don't match and all that. I acknowledge you. I hear you. And I validate that you are uh, having your own opinion. And it is time for the truth to come out. It's time for people to see the truth, the love and the light of what's happening on this Schmegan planet. And if you can't handle it and you don't agree with it and you are drinking the Kool-Aid that they are giving you, that is fine. And this is not for you. And I've enjoyed having you with me up until this point. So uh, we will see you later when you start to see more of what's happening on this planet. Meanwhile, we got a things to get on to. Okay, so here it is. Um, I am happy to have tonight, Chrissy, looks like Carolyn is joining us. And here's what we're gonna talk about. Uh, again, we're gonna talk about something called CERN and something called the Sirius Portal. And I, like I said, I did a video earlier today and we're gonna talk about how that's affecting us as humans on this planet. Is it affecting us? as humans on this planet and what does that mean? All right, here we go. So for those of you that don't know, there is a, a planet, if you will, called Sirius, which, or Cirrus, which I think is quite, you know, a human, her, humorous name. And it is aligned, if you will, with the sun. It is bigger than the sun, uh, but it's aligned with the sun. And it's, it's so that the earth and Cirrus and the sun are in alignment with each other. And you can go look that up and you can see it out in the sky. It's absolutely beautiful. And when that happens, there's a lot of ancient stories you can read that are fascinating about what the ancients thought that it meant. Uh, one of it includes, includes the dog days of summer, which is kind of interesting. The dog days of summer was because the ancients thought that Cirrus being hot helped have the sun to have more heat and then heated up our planet more. But as we know, that's not really the case. So um, when what happens during this time is it creates an opening or if you will, a portal for your etheric and spirit bodies. Don't worry if you haven't heard of those before, I'm going to tell you what those are. And so I'm combining the spiritual understanding I have the physics of what's going on in this world and what I see happening and what my guides are telling me. So I'm bringing this all together. If you have a question or a comment, or you think I'm full of hooey, put it in the comments here down below on Facebook, or if you prefer on YouTube, if you're seeing this on my blog at toolsofenergyprotection.com, there's a place for comments down there as well, or you can flip over to one of the other channels. All right. So as human beings, we have a, a spirit body that animates the physical body. That's why we say be, leave, or be and live means to be, that's the human body. To live means for the lungs to move in and out. And so within that, 
right here next to our physical body, we have what's called an astral body, a spirit body. And then a little bit further out, and just because we only have so much room here on this particular platform, um, you come out a little bit further and you have what's called a second astral body. And then you have a third one. Uh, sorry, that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I've had such a long day. Woo, okay, people are ready. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 okay, so I'm sorry. Your third astral body is here near your human face. Your second astral body is here, and the third astral body is there. Please forgive me. Like I said, I've got tons of notes and papers down here trying to fit it all in so we don't lose anybody. So what does that mean? Well, your first astral body, that's like, here's your connection to God's spirit or source or the divine. And you take a step down in frequency and that becomes your first astral body, your first connection to the divine, how you feel the planets, how you feel the universe, all that. And then the second one comes down and it, it translates more from, yeah, here's the divine to here's the physical. And what does that mean? And then of course you have your third, which is right around your human body. And so when I was working with my guides today, I said, okay, so Sirius um, is in alignment so that what's happening is on the July 4th, which is yesterday and July 5th, that's when we have the most open gateway, the most open portal to those energies. Well, what the schmeg does that mean if, you, if you're not familiar with it and you're new to this whole metaphysical world? Well, what that means is that the vibrational frequency, the bioelectromagnetic frequency is different and affects our human bodies differently. All right, for those of you that are just joining me for the first time, um, I am going to screen share here momentarily something called Schumann. The desired outcome is to illuminate you all to what that means because the Schumann's uh, frequency is going to show you how that the Sirius uh, vibrational frequency is changing um, how we feel as human beings. Okay, let me get that over there. And I really appreciate y'all sticking with me. Sorry for the earlier faux pas, but uh, it's, an amazing, um, it's an amazing life, an amazing world and so much going on it's sometimes challenging to share it all. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, so if you're still with me, give me a thumbs up. Let me know this is of some interest to you because I'm about to put together CERN, Sirius, and the electricity of the human body, how it affects us, and what we're going to be doing um, as how that is working. So it looks like we have several people aboard tonight, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, all right, so this is, for those of you that have never joined us, this is a Schumann's resonance. It says right up here, Schumann's resonance. That is the heartbeat of the earth. So here is zero and here's four hertz and here's eight hertz. Well, what does that mean? Well, the human body um, can't really hear those. I think dogs can kind of hear those. And so when those frequencies on the planet, on earth are high, they are electromagnetism goes around the entire planet. It, it's what exists for us. Our human bodies are also bio and they are also electromagnetic. So when you have a disturbance in the force, so to speak, when you have a disturbance, like say a lightning storm or a thunderstorm or a series of storms, that electrical charge in the clouds shakes things up a bit for the bioelectromagnetic frequency of the entire planet. And if you will um, look with me for a moment, I'm gonna jump over to CERN and then we'll get back to your other stuff. You see that dark line right there? That is on the Schumanns. This, this um, gear, if you will, that measures this is over in Russia. Okay, they take, um, uh, all around the world, they take measurements and they put it up here so we can see it. And each one of these uh, green areas is a different uh, frequency that's being measured, uh, kind of to keep it simple for our broadcast. So let's see how much of that was CERN starting up. Okay. 
So when CERN started up, what I'm understanding, what my guides are verifying for me is when you've got this big black line right here um, that's missing, it seems to be missing from what I'm understanding, uh, that's when the, the um, technically that's when the, the machines are not recording or the instruments are not recording um, where this is being done over at Kompsk uh, in Russia. All right, but you know, it's kind of suspect as to if the, um, if the, if the uh, CERN is going to be start up, they're gonna crank up those engines again, you know, uh, today, um, here it is, you know, July the 4th, uh, they're supposed to be cranking them up, you know, at the end of 4th going into the 5th and, you know, voila, we've got this blank space. So kind of suspect, but I don't have any official word or any verification. Um, my guides tell me it's about 13% of the reason um, that that line went down there. Anyway, so what's happening with your astral bodies? That's how your body takes its relationship with spirit, brings it down uh, more into this particular space and time, and then more around your body. If you do Reiki, you'll know more about it. And so what I'm saying is that uh, Cirrus, I'm going to stop the share here for a minute, um, that Cirrus, uh, the alignment of it didn't really cause a lot of shift in Schumann. The white bit you saw was more of a disturbance of electromagnetic um, storms with more of the, this time of season. It's not with the alignment of the planets. So, okay, so my guides are telling me I need to make that clear before I go on. I hope I'm not losing anybody because I know there's a lot of information to take in. Okay, let's go back one more time. And like I said, if you want the short version, scroll down here on Facebook or go over to the YouTube channel um, and I posted it as part one with same similar title. Okay, so the green bits, that and this bit here, that's gonna have to do more with the bioelectromagnetic shift on the planet with the frequency itself, which has a bearing on the human body. These white bits also have a bearing on the human body but they are more from electrical storms and things happening directly on earth. Whereas these have some effect coming from the frequencies of the other planets. These are disturbances which come from our shift in how the other planets are aligned around earth and earth itself. So I hope that makes sense. If not, uh, wait until I come out with a class for Schumann's. So today when I put up my earlier um, transmission, basically what I was saying is that I found it quite interesting that the scientists um, who have access to scientific information would choose the day that Sirius's gateway, the most alignment, uh, the time when the frequencies are most connectable for the human being on this planet, they chose that day out of all the days on the planet to start CERN to start that process again. And it just struck me as odd because CERN uh, uh, is, it spins and crashes particles together. It is the largest particle physics lab. And so I'm thinking, okay, you know, here the, the humans have this freedom now to connect to more of a divine center, to express expression of connecting with their divine self. And so with your etheric body, the, you know, the astral bodies, I measured them today. So your third astral body, that alignment of Cirrus uh, had an 86% effect if you tuned in to help you purify yourself, to help you to connect to your higher self, to connect to your divine self. So that energy was here for us to take advantage of. You can still do it for the next couple of days, just won't be as powerful. And then uh, it affected our second um, astral body. And, and that's the one that's here by 40%. That's huge, okay, huge. And then you have uh, your, um, your etheric body, you know, which is up here with your first astral, and that was also affected 67%. So a lot of you are like, what? Okay, so basically, if you take a paper towel tube 
and put it on top of your head and imagine your connection to the divine on the other end. That was a clear, uh, like 86 overall percent opening for you to be able to connect more. For those of you that have been struggling, for those of you who have spiritual gifts, you're awake, you see, feel, sense, know things more than everybody else does, and you've been feeling kind of agitated because you don't know what to do with it all, this is the time where that information was more open to you than any other time, okay? There'll be, there'll be more times, don't worry, you didn't totally miss the boat, but it's like a clock. You know, if you look at a face clock, it's got numbers, you know, 12, one, two. Well, you've got things between the 12 and the one, little tick marks, but it isn't exactly the numbers. So you have to wait till it gets the number for more clarity. And that's how the cycle of this planet works. It works with your mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, and energy body. And today and yesterday, there was a large opening for spiritual awareness and understanding. And again, this is really deep dish. So if you're one of those people that need a little bit of a lighter dish, then, then again, go to the video I did earlier today. It's about seven minutes long. I give it to you in a shorter um, uh, increment. But this is the, the deep dish dive. Okay, so uh, CERN. What is CERN? Let's go back and have a look at what CERN is. Again, I will screen share. And I am not by any means saying doom and gloom. Uh, some people were saying they felt like the start of CERN would be the end of the world and it would open a giant, you know, portal to another universe and we'd be invaded by aliens. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm talking about is your human frequency and your mind. Your mind is controlled by bioelectromagnetic frequency. You know, why do you think they put high voltage where there's a lot of electric? Because they don't want people's minds to get interfered with. Uh, that's a whole nother subject unto itself. Okay. So let's jump over to share the screen and on toolsofenergyprotection.com, I will put the links to uh, these two websites and um, I'll put them on the bottom of my YouTube video as well. Okay, don't mind all the uh, commercials, that has nothing to do with me. All right, five things you need to know about the Large uh, Hadron Collider. Um, uh, it's a CERN is the large Hadron Collider gears up to work at a previously unprecedented energy levels. Here are the five things you need to know about the massive and complex machine. So I will, like I said, I will go ahead and put that on both toolsofenergyprotection.com on the blog for 7-5-2022 and also for the, um, the second video on, on um, YouTube. But here you notice it says the large uh, Haldron Collider's magnetic dipole, okay? It's dealing with magnetics. It's dealing with the polarity of the magnetics. Now, is that going to affect, you know, you can go on and read it. Like I said, I'll post the article. You know, is that going to affect our planet? You know, if they've got it all contained like they show here, What's that going to do to you? Okay, what's that going to do to your human body? How's that going to affect the frequency of the planet? Well, if they've got it all contained, you know, scientifically speaking, then, you know, there's not going to be an issue. Okay, scientifically speaking, it'll be contained and, and they've got all these, you know, different things to, to keep it that way. But the result is, is they are looking for different ways, my understanding, um, to deal with particles and perhaps even open up some kind of a portal, if you will, to another dimension or another frequency. So they're playing with bioelectromagnetism, which is what we are. So maybe not today it's going to affect us, but what happens if they find out they can manipulate bioelectromagnetic frequency in a particular way that it affects human bodies? Maybe it you know, will have an effect on how we're worked with. I don't know. But what I do know is that my guides told me that what they're doing with this electromagnetic frequency is um, 
49% of the information that they're finding, they're not sharing with us. I know that's no big surprise, but there is an alignment between what they're finding and how it affects the human mind. And so I just thought it was interesting. Uh, guys were telling me that the shift in the planet's frequency with this machine starting contained or not will shift us about 18%, which isn't much. But again, having it line up on the same day as the two, only the only two main days were aligned to Cirrus or Sirius. So, you know, my question is, did they do this because they knew that the frequency of those planets were coming and that somehow gave them more momentum? Don't know. But what I do know is anytime that you see something major happening on the scientific world, especially when it has to do with quantum reality and it has to do with physics, be suspect or suspicious. Really eyeball what they're doing because they understand the alignment of the planets. They understand the bioelectromagnetism of this planet, how it works, when it aligns. They have all that intelligence. So they're gonna find the greatest time when all that frequency can be there for them to do whatever they're doing, which is way beyond my pay grade. So that's what I wanted to do was to, to share that with you. So this really to me smacks of a while back when we all of a sudden had 5G popping up. Do you remember that? And they're telling us, oh, everybody's gonna have you know, better cell phones and more clarity, it's gonna be faster and we've got this 5G network. Well, that happened to be about the same time that the frequency um, was, was opening up more to this planet. We live in the third dimension. There's a fourth dimension where we connect to our divine self. And there's a fifth dimension where higher dimensional frequency beings actually exist. And they help us. And for the first time that was open. So people that are aware of that more ascended connect at that level. And it was interesting to me because the 5G came out about that same time. And I found out from some sources that it was not ready to be announced because it wasn't fully functional. It was just getting started. So there seemed to be a race to announce it before it was ready that would line up with the ascension of our planet with the fifth dimensional frequency being open to us. What does that mean? Third dimension is your human body. Fourth dimension is that connection between the human body and the divine. And that fifth dimensional frequency is more of a divine connection that allows us to ascend, to be more aware, awake, alert, to see the truth, the love, and the light, and have less fear. Can you please tell me what is the number one energy that has been, is being produced on this planet? What is the number one energy being produced on this planet right now? Any guesses, any comments down here below? I'll give it a second to catch up. Okay, nobody has a comment. The biggest energy that is being created on this planet by mankind is not gas, it's not electric, it's not CERN, it's fear. And if there was a way to buy stock or, you know, in the, in the stock market for, for fear, right? You know, little ticker numbers, you could be a millionaire. Of course, you wouldn't want to buy now because you'd be buying high, but fear. So that's what's happening. You have got tons of fear being pumped into the human consciousness. And what I'm doing tonight is 
coming on to tell you that anytime you see them releasing something in the news that's big, you're going to have a couple sides to it. You're going to have the scientific side and this, you know, particle accelerator, and it's wonderful and making great leaps and bounds in science. Yay, that's exciting. Science is wonderful. And on the other side, you have all these spiritual people that are fear mongering it, you know, telling you that it's going to be the end of the world, open a portal to the aliens. Okay, not true. So if I wasn't clear in my message, like I said, it's just been a long day, a lot to share. What I'm saying is there is truth in what's happening in the scientific world. And there is truth in what's happen happening in the evolution of this planet, the spiritual awake awareness, the evolution of our souls. And those two things are very real. But the fear mongering that feeds into both of these transfers it into a whole different level. So my fascination is that Sirius in alignment with the sun and opening up this energetic gateway, getting ready for Leo and the largest particle lab reopening at the same time made me wonder why. What's the correlation? Because the ambiguous they know the same things that we do and they're gonna use them to their advantage. So who knows? Maybe there's some sort of, um, of, of a influx of energy that's helping their project. Anyway, the bottom line is stay awake, aware and alert. Seek information, learn as much as you can. Do not allow yourself to go into the fear. If you haven't already, I'm going to tell you to learn how to use a pendulum to measure energies. It's a wonderful way to intuit to stay out of fear. I don't have any classes coming up currently, but we soon will. And in the meantime, that's it. It's a lot to digest. It's a lot to take in. And I noticed that I went from a lot of followers down to a few, <laughs> but that's normal given what I've been doing. Anyway, I hope you have a great, wonderful day. It's a lot of information to take in. For those of you that are interested in being connected to the divine, take this time this evening to take a salt water bath, do a sound bath, um, journal, set your intent. As this is moving us forward as star seeds, impasse, highly sensitive people into our next level as the earth evolves and, you know, as science evolves and everything else. So that's it. Have a great and wonderful night.